I, I want also to to um, bring up another uh, point that uh, Ricardo was making about the title of the film, Forest of Bliss. Um, I, I know that that he understood the the one of the many reasons, one of the many meanings of that that uh, those three words uh, in 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 an understanding that life is a complex matter, that it is a place that you can be lost in, like a forest, uh, that that a forest is just sometimes uh, even terrifying to be in. Uh, and how does something that's terrifying to be in have anything to do with bliss, which is supposed to be something that you are, I don't know, getting some exquisite joy from? And it is exactly the contrast between the the uh, the underlying meaning of these words, the use of the two words together, which makes the uh, the title make sense for me. That life is complex; it is also joyful, but even joy can be, in a sense, dangerous. Um, Forest of Bliss is also a, another name for Benares. Uh, there is some, some um, Indian scripture which, which relates the fact that Shiva had dug a hole and, uh, with his disc, and uh, when he had done that, why out came a, what he called a Forest of Bliss, which was an, a... An, an, a um, repetition of fallacies to, to, as far as the eye could see. Well, um, that is not, that was that is not Benares, but it is it is uh, in the scriptures at least. I I think that I want to uh, before asking you to ask questions either of Ricardo or of me um, to say that in. Being here and having the opportunity to see many films, uh, usually and ironically on DVD, but uh, still being able to see a lot, that I'm beginning to think that there is a movement afoot, that there is a, a liveliness to the movement of, of young people into this area of... Uh, of nonfiction filmmaking, and uh, I not only applaud it, but I, I, I'm, I'm entirely um, inspired by it. Um, I have come also to think of what I am doing, and I think that Ricardo caught that quite well, is to not just uh, what not not just register the world in optical terms, in cinematic terms, but to inquire into it, to, as, as, as a writer might call it, to do an essay of a kind that attempts to, to find a, 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 a meaning or many meanings um, Un, that lie within these actualities, and uh, if that can be called philosophy, I, I'm, I'm happy to 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 know that. If it can be called poetry, I'm happy to know that, because I think poetry is one of the most uh, penetrating ways of of representing the world. If it is called art as a kind of overarching endeavor. I, I welcome that as well. It is not that I'm against science. I am hoping that science itself is a kind of art and that art is what we are all attempting in some way or other, whether we are painters or poets or filmmakers or photographers or anything else. And so there you have my credo for what it's worth. And uh, I turn <clears throat> the microphone back to where it belongs after you've done your job. <laughs>